Welcome to Aerospace Structures Fine Element Applications. Today I have invited Mr. Uday, who is going to help us guide us through the Module 5, which we're going to learn how to simulate an aircraft wing bending simulation under a lift load condition. With that, I'm going to have Mr. Uday guide us through this ANSYS tutorial, and the goals are to learn how to import the geometry, apply a pressure load that represents the lift conditions, and then how to then interpret the results. And so then I want to pass it over to you. Thank you, Mr. Uday. I appreciate you. Hey guys, this is Shreyas, and I'm a course producer for Aerospace Structures 1, and I'm thankful Professor Vinay Goyal for this opportunity. So for the first project, you need to install VMware and open the software of ANSYS Workbench. So once you open ANSYS Workbench, the interface should look something like this. So to start the project, towards the left side of the screen, you have the toolbox. Navigate to the option of Static Structural and double click on it. So once you do that, in the project schematic window, you should have this pop-up. So initially, to start the simulation, you will have to define the material. So for that, double click on engineering data. Once you do that, the window engineering data will open up. So here you can see that the default material is structural steel, but for our application, we'll be using aluminum alloy. To change that, we need to go to engineering data sources. And once you are here, click on general materials. Once you do that, in the outline of general materials, navigate to aluminum alloy. So you have this plus symbol. And click on this, a symbol of book appears, which basically means that this material has been added to library. So now what you need to do is click on engineering data sources again. So here you will be able to see the new material has been added to the library. So you need to delete structural steel for that, right click and delete it. So the material which we needed has been applied. Now we can go back to the project and now we should define the geometry. So for that, double click on geometry and wait for ANSYS discovery to open up. So once you have the discovery opened up, you want to import geometry the CAD. So everyone has been provided with the GrabCAD model, which you want to insert here. Press these three lines on the top left corner and insert geometry here. Select this particular model and click open. So once you have this geometry opened up, you can minimize this window and go back to the project screen. So here we can see the status with a green tick mark, which basically means that the geometry is defined. So now we want to mesh this CAD. So for that, double click on model, which basically gives you this particular interface. So here towards the left, we have the project tree and the geometry drop down. We are able to see a question mark, which basically means that something here is not defined. Click on that. So we did say earlier that we, the material used is going to be aluminum alloy, but specifically we did not mention which alloy it's going to be. So here I need to define the alloy. So I do not have a details tab. So what I'm going to do is navigate to manage, click details. So which is going to give me this particular window. So in here, we want to assign the material to this model. So I'm going to click in the assignment, this particular arrow mark and search for aluminum alloy 6061. I have performed the simulation previously and I have it here in the library. So I'm just going to click here. Since you're doing it for the first time, you're going to search in this search bar. So once you click on it, it's going to apply the material to this geometry. Once that's done in this box, click once to select this and then proceed to meshing. In meshing, for aerospace structures, we need to have real good accuracy with the simulations which we perform. And for that, fine mesh is the key thing. Here, in general, if we just perform the mesh, if we just generate a default mesh, it's going to look something like this, which would not give us good accuracy. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to refine this mesh so for that, in the details of the mesh, we're going to change the physics preference, not the physics preference, the element order to quadratic and the element size to 0.05 and generate mesh again. So here you're able to see that the mesh is more refined and it's more finer. So this would give us far better results when compared to the previous mesh. So now let us proceed to define the boundary conditions. For that, what we want to do is click on the static structural and right click on it once. So we are going to fix one side of the wing. So for that, we're going to select fixed support. So in the details of the fixed support drop down, we need to select the geometry of which is going to be the fixed support. So for that here in this wing geometry, I'm going to select this particular phase where my cursor is pointing. So when you select it, 
it's going to be highlighted by a green color and then I'm going to click apply. So once it has been selected, it's going to show blue color over here. And then what I'm going to do is I need to apply pressure on the bottom surface of the wing. So for that, again, in static structural, I'm going to insert pressure and the details of the pressure basically asks us for the geometry or the pace on which we want to apply the pressure on. So I'm going to select the bottom surface of this wing and then press apply. And to define the magnitude of the pressure, I'm going to say it's 1000 pascals. Just press enter and in the checkbox, click once. Yeah. So now the magnitude and the direction and the pace of the pressure has been defined and also we have defined the sub type of support. Now we can proceed to the solution. We need to know what type of solution we are generating. So in our case, let us insert deformation, the total deformation and again left click on the solution, right click on the solutions and then insert stress and maximum principal stress. So once this is done, we can proceed to solve the simulation by clicking solve button on the top left here. Once we do that, it takes some time to compute and give us the results. So once my simulation is run and it has completed, it's going to depict the result in form of color gradients. So this is the maximum principal stress and this is the total deformation on the wing. So bottom in the graph tab, we will also be able to run the simulation of how the deformation occurs. So if I press play, we will be able to play the simulation and this is the end of simulation. So we can save the file in the location which we want. So now we can go back to the earlier project page, this window, and we can update project. So if we have all the green tick marks here, which basically means that we have successfully completed our project. Say in a case where you have to define material properties as we want, we can again go back to engineering data and in aluminum alloy, this for the particular material, we have set of values for tensile strength, the yield strength, and so on. So if we go to aluminum alloy, we will be able to change the material properties as we require them. And then we can perform and run the simulation again as we did previously. So this is the end of the first project simulation. So yeah, thank you guys.